What's up, y'all? What's going on with everybody? We are coming in with a Gemini reading. That is what the G said. This reading is going to be for Gemini. So if you are a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini, you know, Gemini on your brain, this message could resonate with you. Get a reading a thumbs up if you rock with me. You've been rocking with me out the gate. Get a reading a thumbs up. You just sliding through. Get a read and a thumbs up because this message might pertain to you. So I'm hearing something about, you know, when it comes to tulips. Could be some flowers being planted or the bulbs or the tulips are coming up off the ground or tulips. Somebody talking because they got tulips. And then I'm hearing like two ships passing in the night is kind of like some fly-by-night energy. Somebody that you normally don't see, somebody that you normally don't talk to, Gemini. They could be rushing. Okay, y'all could be in a grocery store by the produce. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I'm also hearing when it comes to, you know, somebody being a little overly protective of their mate. Okay, being overly protective of their mate probably because they slacking or this can pertain to the Gemini. Take everything, how it resonates. But I heard something that was my belly. I heard something when it comes to um, a rainfall. It could be raining or it could be a rainfall of money. It could be a rainfall of money and then somebody with this phony fake ass energy, Gemini, you know, playing with your emotions and playing in your face. Or you could be doing that. You know, it's it's some Gemini's I'm hearing, you know, when it comes to it don't matter if you black or white, you know, they could, you know, fall from those days. They could have been teens in those days or somebody could have been, you know, just coming up. Take coming up. In the literal sense, too, is what I'm hearing. Coming up like a phoenix from the ashes, you know, just being noticed. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing um, some endings, though. Some endings, you know, and some harsh-ass realities. And it's, it's because, you know, somebody disappointed. For one, it's a heavenly team. The angels been, you know, protecting you and... The angel's been protecting somebody from a Gemini. Um, these endings gonna have you in your feelings. It's gonna it's gonna be a harsh reality, is what I'm seeing. But the protection that you need, you know, the protection that you need, and you being in sync with this protection and knowing that it's a guiding light is what I'm hearing. It's a gift. It has a lot to do with your legacy. It has a lot to do with a gift being given. It has a lot to do with some loss as well. So it's like, you know, taking the leap of faith. Um, knowing somebody counts you out, okay? Somebody counts you out, but you always count them in. And it's like you stepping out on faith, but it's a bunch of deception when it comes to, you know, a, a hold up, a hold up. It could be like somebody telling you to wait, but it's a gift. It's a gift. They can, it's a gift. It's something that you need to see. It's something that you need to see that's right in front of your face. And for a while, your angels have been shielding you. And now it's like you got to break down somebody's patterns. You know, it it could have been, you know, in the past you weren't worried um, about some consequences when it comes to um, somebody playing a field or, you know, the confusion that was, you know, the confusion that was being, that was taking place, I'm seeing when it comes to someone, you know, honoring you as being a blessing or you dishonoring a blessing. I'm hearing, you know, when it comes to um, 
some ancestral inherited gifts, and also when it comes to, you know, um, habits, you know, habits, habits, habits that need to be broken. So mote it be, is what I just saw, karmics. I heard for the love of money and, you know, when it comes to uh, karma, being a straight up beatrice, when it comes to karma being a straight up beatrice, it's like you could probably like hear some sort of expression that maybe your grandparents uh, may have said or um, if you have any deceased parents. Um, that they may have said to you, you know, um, when it comes to this disappointment, because it it has a lot to do with um, turning your back, turning your back, um, turning the cheek, actually, you know what I'm saying, letting somebody, you know, stab you and slap you in your back, you know, metaphorically, you know, knowing that this person is doing you wrong, causing all sorts of confusion and acting like it's not important, right? And there is also, you know, a Gemini who is being very two-faced, you know, is what I'm seeing because when it comes to some gifts and them passing tests and, you know, some family involvement when it comes to, um, communication and how you communicate on a toxic level or, you know, calling, um, say for instance, calling one of your kinfolk and shit and they toxic as hell and this aggressive, egotistic ass behavior. Maybe it could be your brother or your cousin or somebody who always in your business or watching you or trying to, you know, really pull your coattail to, um, the spirit been trying to protect you from. But it's a type of pain and sadness I'm hearing that you felt before, and it has a lot to do with slander. And that could be a, a, a big reason why you're overprotective of your um, significant other, your mate, or, uh, or a family member. It's like, you know, there's been some good advice that was given. I'm seeing... Um, when it comes to, you know, this, this, this low vibrational energy, this, you know, this competitive spirit, um, and, and, and it seems like, you know, it's like a generational curse because it is lined up with, you know, your generation, your aunts and uncles, your grandparents, you know what I'm saying? Your parents and stuff. And it could be that, you know, changing, you know, this two face is what I'm hearing. And it could be cliche because you're a Gemini, you know what I'm saying? But changing this two-face and, you know, taking the mask off of these liars is what I'm hearing. You know, you, who you know has been, you know, playing, playing these motherfucking games. A little birdie told you something about your destined path is what I'm seeing as well. And, um, about how you need to pump the brakes and, um, do some divine intervention, you know, by maybe sitting in silence somewhere and, you know, and, and communing with spirit, you know, praying and, and, and listening and listening <laughs> and listening. But, you know, when it comes to divine intervention, you know, the ancestors got a lot to do with that as well, especially when they want to pump the brakes and have somebody take a break. Sitting somebody in timeout, 8.55, I just saw on the clock, 8.55, I don't know, somebody's supposed to be, you know, coming through the door or normally coming through the door at like uh, 9 o'clock or something like that. It's those nines following up, but you know, those nines is a stage of completion at nine, you know, is also bringing you um, more into some compatibility when it comes to your spiritual awareness, someone's spiritual practices as well, is what I just heard. All right. Somebody's spiritual practices as well. So let's see. Hmm. It was a picture that was painted already. You know, somebody was setting some intentions in order to thwart you off your spiritual path to help to maintain um, a sort of lackluster when it comes to your spirituality, you know. Someone don't want you to be involved with um, 
with with any sort of religious beliefs. They always want to debunk them or when it comes to your spirituality and your um your heritage, right? Romance. Obstacles there. Obstacles there when it comes to romance. Possession. You know, the opposition. Your spiritual team, sure, that somebody is the opposition, okay? Gemini, this person could be, you know, someone who is very vindictive. Look, your person who can be very vindictive, you know, and trying to step on your toes behind your back. This person, you know, avoids conversation with you is what I'm hearing and thinks that, you know, maybe that your person um, could have uh, upgraded themselves when it comes to their relationship status. Okay. Your spiritual team said they sure that this person, you know, even though you, you communicate with this person, but they sure that this person is some karmic influence. There's also someone who is trying to balance out some energy with you. Yeah, somebody's trying to balance out some energy with you. I'm seeing a bunch of communication between y'all. Yeah. Fall. So, this current fall, when it comes to a wealth of knowledge, um, some change in the love life, um, some change in your spiritual awareness as well. You not being on the same page with somebody. You not feeling this person's energy. You not feeling this person's presence right now is what I'm hearing. This person could be a, a um, Aries, a Sagittarius. This person could be a Leo. Someone is a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Karmic. Whoever this person is who is bringing some fake support when it comes to the love department is what I'm hearing. This person feels like they want to look and this person feels like it look and that's falling up under some some faulty ass guidelines the way this person coming at you. They they got this dark energy, especially when it comes to relationships, relationship issues. This person don't have anything uplifting to say. This person could have had an ending in their life. You know what I'm saying? They could be meddlesome. It's something with uh, text messages, too. Look, family issues. It's something with text messages, too. This person just in the dark energy, period. They're experiencing, you know, a lot of obstacles in the love department. And when it comes to them, you know, being resourceful, When it, you know, when it comes to them being resourceful, it's it, it, I'm feeling like you need to plan ahead. Look, not on the same page. You need to plan ahead when it comes to somebody having a trick up their sleeve. Somebody got a trick up their sleeve. It's somebody who's supporting or in support of bringing a, um, a slow ending, a slow ending. Leo energy, in support of bringing a slow energy. Um, you know, it's like a slow, it's, it's slowly this energy, it's like a hateful energy is building up. Mm-hmm. Childhood issues, family issues, family issues with children. It's some sort of argument or, you know, it's, it's like family ties, you know, soul contracts that's being destroyed, um, ancestral uh, beliefs, uh, religious beliefs, uh, spiritual practices, they're all being dismantled is what I'm hearing. There are chapters that's being closed out and someone um, doesn't want you know, to be interpersonal about it, you know, so they're just going to shoot somebody a text message. Yeah, they're just going to shoot somebody a text message and they're just going to take the ones that flipped over. It could be two, you know, look, vacation. 
and doubt. I don't know. Capricorn energy, Leo energy, Cancer at the bottom. Some doubt about a vacation. About bringing someone on this vacation. It could have been some talk or some plans since January season. And whoever it is that you want to bring, you know, the energy that they bring with them and what they bring to the table, it's going to be a big disappointment on this vacation. Somebody deceptive as hell. There has been no death of the ego when it comes to this Leo or this Capricorn. Actually, you know, Gemini, somebody is very egotistical and they're very narcissistic. And this is someone who probably, you know, in your heyday supported you in some, you know, some crass behavior, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it's time to stop something. It's time to stop something. Well known. I only want you. It's time to stop. So, this delay. This delay. I feel like this was, was slowly building up right now. Outside of doubt. It's a discouraging energy. It's 9.59 my time. What time is it your time? Police. 6.5. So, something happened in January season that you ain't hip to, Gemini. But I feel like somebody that you close to was trying to give you some divine assistance or trying to help you you know, to start this divine intervention. This is somebody need an intervention. They do. Somebody need an intervention. Um there is I'm hearing a Libra. A Libra energy as well. Or it's like, you know, somebody is trying to, you know, balance out the scales, but it's how they trying to do it. It's it's some injustice. Mm hmm That one uncle who always lit. I just heard eight ball. What was that? What goes around comes around. Use your energy wisely. Stay stay strong. Your efforts won't go unnoticed. Be positive. A sense of power. Law. My bad. So when it comes to this law, it could be, you know, street violation. Street violation, parking violation. It could be a street violation too. Slow down. Important details are being overlooked. When it comes to safety and when it comes to somebody, you know, being agitated about seatbelts or something. When it comes to somebody being agitated about seatbelts or something, I feel like there is someone who um, is, you know, zero and in on the competition is what I just heard. Zeroing in on the competition. Someone um also may have a teenage boy who um I'm seeing is something going on with this teenage boy, y'all. This teenage boy needs to uh have a talk about um misconduct when it comes to um sex and I feel like, you know, this whoever this teenage boy is, they they have sex on the brain, you know, they they may have just got their first taste or they could have you know what I'm saying? They they first you know what I'm talking about. I can't even get it out, but it feel like, you know, somebody's stalking somebody, somebody's stalking somebody's pocket, somebody's stalking it's it's a predator who has it's a lot of predators around you hear me it's a lot of predators around and it could be some predators you know in your building or you know across the street or within your homes i mean you know the electrical issues that's going on in the homes are signs from your ancestors too of what is about to stop lights about to be out for someone who um 
is feeling like they cannot separate themselves from these psychedelics who can't separate themselves from these um, generational curses. And, you know, when it comes to somebody breadcrumbing you and shit, I feel like, you know, you may have an older um, uncle or something or... Yes, yeah, an older uncle who know that this is some fake love bullshit that you, excuse me, y'all, YouTube about the trip that you may be going through. You know, I'm also seeing when it comes to love, someone um is in school or or need to go back to school is what your ancestors are saying. Or something, you know, when something that, you know, you fashioned yourself, someone that you fashioned yourself to be as a youngster, okay? But this youngster who's in your energy, um, when it comes to, you know, spiritually equipping this person, these are all flip around. When it comes to spiritually equipping this person, there is some fraudulent behavior that's going on when it comes to wire, wiring money and identity fraud. This is what, you know, either your mate, someone younger than you, your uncle, or um, a business partner is going through. When it comes to the autumn months, past autumn, you know, 2023, this is before somebody you know, for lack of a better expression, step they game up when it comes to their career and building, you know, their money and, you know, um, trying to build a legacy. This is why you overprotect the Gemini, because they on strong, heavy drugs. Somebody got so many habits. They mismanage money. So, and, and, and I'm hearing when it comes to coming up out of the hole. When it comes to coming up out of the hole. Somebody went down a rabbit hole. Self-love, self-care, and that pity pat. Pity pat, you know, women's genital areas promoting behaviors of habitual active management of one's complete health, mind, body, and soul. Somebody's mushroom tip has been infecting someone's um, vagina area because they don't have good personal hygiene or spiritual hygiene. Look, spirit ain't playing. Skin problems. Skin problems, acne, eczema, psoriasis, little prickly bumps and stuff, you know, and when you don't, if you're just washing up in the sink and you're not getting in the tub or getting in the shower, you're going to have little dirt bumps all over you. I, I, I've seen people like that. I have. Moon phases, Pisces energy. Moon phases have affected you tremendously due to confusion, you know, and some illusions. The G's want you to dry your eyes, tap into your emotions that are secrets, deal with them. You've been keeping this secret about, you know, whoever this person is to you being on these strong, heavy drugs, and you've just been dealing with it, but it's a time cap. The G said the jig is up. The jig is up. You got somebody in your energy field who about to help you tap into your spiritual awareness. Not only that, they about you know this is someone that this is someone who um is in your life who is in your life for many reasons and they serve many purposes. Perseverance, keeping, keeping on with the come ons, right? Keep on pushing despite naysayers, delays, or imaginary vexes that someone has. But it's like, you know, you can't be successful with that anymore. Because not only is this person rubbing you the wrong way, but they're rubbing everybody else the wrong way, Gemini. they rubbing everybody else the wrong way. You saw it. You saw the glitch in the Matrix. Mm, what's going on here? Married with children. But then there's some folk around who's not married, and they want to put in their two cents. Getting in shape, working out, lifting weights, speed walking, jogging. Some of 
So, somebody has an imaginary friend, too. You can probably hear, you, y'all got, it's something about the walls. I don't know if this is in your unit, if this is in your home, okay? You can stay in a multi-dwelling, or you can stay in a single-family home. I don't know, but somebody talked to this. Time out. Pull your energy back. Call it all back. Regroup. Butter up. Butter up. <laughs> butter yourself up and relax. Then dive in. Somebody, it's something with some butter, too. Something with some butter. While you getting in shape and working out, you got to cut back on the saturated fats and all those calories. It, I mean, you know, you can season it to taste good with olive oil. Shift the negative talk. You're sending mixed messages into the universe. So, what I'm hearing about, you know, somebody being in their feelings, um, they're a little too relaxed about their emotions when it comes to, you know, this per- this person who's very close to them, you know, dealing with these addictions, and they're trying to hide it. They married, they in this union, you know, but they they also knowing that, you know, the person, you know, who... Um, is helping these to be helping it to be a turnaround with these drugs too. It's something of the romantic um, persuasion that's going on, you know. When it comes to your universe and your Yanni, is what I'm hearing. Call all that energy back. Call all that energy back. They aren't supposed to be affecting you in that area right now or infecting you. You hear me? Excuse me. Simply put, Lake Minnetonka Diver. If you knew a Lake Minnetonka Diver, Prince, they not adoring. They not adoring. They are not in love. They scatter in their energy and they've been trying to hide it. And they scatter their energy with whoever, I just heard floozy. Whoever this floozy is who be walking across the threshold. Or they in on it. Caucasian. Somebody of the Caucasian persuasion. And, you know, you would think because this person is always in a business attire that they not on the book of sugar. That's your message. See you.